Hello and welcome to the Mouseworks series of how-to instructional model building videos. We here at Mouseworks strive to bring you the best information and techniques to help you get the most out of your model building experience. We will show you how the pros build models step by step so you can easily follow along. Most of the techniques you will see are very easy to learn and simple to accomplish. So sit back and let us show you the tricks and secrets to building your miniature masterpiece. Okay, uh, I've got a little uh, example I'm going to show you about. Uh, this is the TACOM M47, and one of the, I've got most of the track built here. One of the problems is, is that there is, uh, the track pins ex uh, extend out beyond the pads here, and they do give you that detail in the kit. The problem is there's a mold seam that goes right along through them, and trying to clean out every single little piece of mold seam between the actual uh, pin heads uh, just doesn't is extremely hard to do so uh, I found out one of the easy solutions there's a couple ways you can do this uh, you can see what I've done here is I have sanded off all that detail so I got the little uh, pin heads off and all the mold lines completely off. Did that before I mounted the track, so I got them all done, mounted the track, now I'm ready to put back the pin heads, and I'll show you a couple of ways to do that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is um, sort of an easy way to do it. Um, this is what they call a dotting tool, which is for decorating fingernails. Got it at a, uh, a Sally's Beauty Supply and it's a really super tiny little ball on the end here and the way to actually make a rivet head with this is actually to dip this into super glue and then hit it where you want it it will wick off into onto the surface you want in a circular pattern it does have like a, a rivet rounded rivet head look to it um, to show you since super glue is clear i will show you with doing it with paint so i'm using some tamiya paint here and I'm just going to dip the tool in there, wipe it off just a tad bit, and basically you can kind of see how this works just by letting it wick off. The problem is that you it wicks off and then it starts to get smaller and smaller as you go dot to dot, so you'll have to do each track link one and two which usually keeps the shape and then you'll have to put the dotting uh, tool in the paint again and then do the next two so it's pretty long and arduous to do it this way but like i said if you want to use it on something else to actually do rivets using the super glue use a thick super glue that way it will hold the shape of a rivet head and then once it dries you paint it over and it uh, looks really good and there's different size dotting tools uh, depending on what you're doing um, large and small so that is a uh, one way to do it okay the next way I'm going to show you how to do it is actually with a punch and die set uh, this is um, there's a lot of different companies that make this what I'm using is a one millimeter uh, punch and using a small strip of uh, I believe this is a ten thousandth thick plastic strip that way all these rivet heads or pin heads will be the same thickness and the same diameter so basically this one luckily uh, this one you can push through and not have to hammer but either way it will still work so I center the plastic in there put the punch set in there and then what I'll do is this one is smooth enough I can actually just push it with my finger then I turn it over and there's the little pin head there I grab it with a pair of pliers or tweezers I should say and I'll put it off to the side here, start making a pile, and just spend the evening kind of making little pieces. And once you have a small pile, you can start working on the model, which I'll show you next. All right, so you might be able to see some of the pinheads that I actually punched out with the punch and die set. 
Um, another way to do it is this, if you don't have a punch and die set, is this is the chopper. Uh, very handy tool to have. I've spaced out the block here to just be a hair's breadth of tubings or a cylindrical piece of plastic. So basically what I do, and this works for other things too if you need to do it longer, uh, it's hard to get a really fine chop out of this, but it's not too bad. So basically I'll just chop and move and chop and move and chop. And on the other side here, hopefully you'll be able to see them, is little pieces that will work almost the same. Sometimes they're, like I said, a little thicker, but let's zoom in there and let you take a look at them. So this is, these ones here are the ones with the punch and die set. These are the ones with the chopper and they're just a little bit thicker, but they'll still work and that works pretty well. And this is a very handy tool to have. So let's try to apply these ones from the punch and die set to the vehicle. Okay, I'm ready to put the uh, little pinheads on the side of the track here. And basically, again, I've got it all sanded down. And I'm going to use Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, which works pretty good, gives you some working time. Uh, some of you may be familiar with it for building the tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just touch one side of one of the blocks here. Just put a little dab of the glue. Take a knife, which has a very sharp tip, and I'm just going to pierce the little pin heads and then I'm going to just attach it by dropping it into the glue and it'll stick and come off the edge, end of the knife and then I'm going to position it just by moving it around getting it where I want and once it's about where I want I will hit it with a little bit more glue That'll put it in place and then I'll get some more glue for the one on the other side and go and pierce. And then what I'm going to try to do is match these so they make a straight line. You do have some working time with this glue which is kind of nice. Pushing it around, mushing it around, eventually it'll soften and kind of give you trouble but it does have some working time. So basically I'm going to want to make sure that these are straight. So, I've got the other side done with a row of rivets. Let me secure this one real quick. Okay. And by using the punch and die, it made these things really uniform. So, here's a row that is already done and they're already glued in place. And if you're not sure about how straight they are, you can actually sight down here looking at it and you can actually see if they're actually lined up or not. If they're a little off, you can move them if the glue is still a little bit wet. If not, if it's already dried, you can always just cut these off and put a new, new one on. So they're really easy to work with. So do a few of these every night and then you'll eventually be done uh, before you know it. And then I'll do some on the inside. And what's nice is this part of the track here does not have to have any because it's up against the hull. So I saved myself about 50 or 60 of those little guys. So all the time I saved on the track, now I can use that time to do these. So it's not too arduous, but that's a good way to make pins. Thanks for watching.